What's going on? This is Arthur Bueno for the Bueno Power Vlog, and um, it's been a long time since I've uh, uh, posted anything. Um, as you watch this, you are um, seeing uh, a moment where um, you're you're. You're seeing a moment of of a uh, of a process of divorce, and knowing how much of that sort of eats you up and tears you apart. You know, without trying to hurt the other other uh, person and such, um, this is what's happening. And so, at this moment, I'm going to be um, packing up, and I'm going to be staying with somebody else, and um, I'm going to be making some uh, new plans to go and um, possibly move back to California. Now, I just kind of want to let people know who know me and are watching this that in any, in any way they don't want it to be like this. And my former wife um, is a great individual. She has, you know, great potential of doing big things. Um, you know, very smart and kind. But at this point, we we don't see eye to eye on on things, and it had sort of told me how how bad I feel as a husband that I had basically wasted her time. So it's, um, it's awful, you know, it is awful and, and, and I, I hope that I, I hope that, uh, you know, things work out for the best. And I know this is not going to be very easy, so... I'm going to be documenting kind of what's been going on and sort of showing you guys sort of the process um, of how I'm uh, kind of going about um, moving on. I've been with this woman for a good amount of years and now I have to end it. Is it all my fault? Probably, but I don't think I can I can continue on with this relationship. All right, so this is uh, kind of the progress of everything. Um, you know what's crazy is that uh, <laughs> I don't even have this much stuff. Like most of the stuff that I have is. Uh, my wife's and um, I, I, most of the things that I have only take up maybe like not even a third of what uh, what she had collected over the years so I mean this is it man you know and um, it's it's a, a little breathtaking, considering how, um, like I'm, I'm really gonna be going through this. I just don't know how, how things are gonna pan out from here, and yeah, we'll just see. Crazy times, man.
What is going on? This is Arthur for the Bueno Power Vlog, and um, today is um, a pretty significant day for me. Um, it's kind of hard for me to talk about at this moment, but uh, I'm actually at the bus station, um, Greyhound, to go to Massachusetts. Boston and it's Lowell. Uh, currently, my car uh, is on the fritz and can't really drive it on uh, long distances. Uh, it may cost a little bit to fix up the car, and I'm gonna save money for that. But um, My reasoning of going to Massachusetts on a Sunday is that uh, I'm going to be talking to my mother-in-law that me and my wife are getting a divorce. And um, it's not easy to kind of go through this uh, emotion and <sighs> at this point I can't really agree with what my wife wants to do and, and just last like last month or so a couple of weeks ago I don't know when I'm gonna post this up I had <clears throat> I was with my wife hanging out at Sturbridge Village and <clears throat> It, it, it just came down to a point where her and I just didn't agree with uh, with the same thing. We weren't on the same page. And um, this is me sort of saying my final goodbyes before I uh, start moving out and finding another place to live. And it's weird that I don't have my ring with me, and I don't know. I have to say that, you know, my wife, she didn't, she's not a bad person. All passengers for the 45 service to Springfield, all passengers to Greenfield. So yeah, <laughs> um, my my wife is not a bad person. Um, she's pretty awesome. You know, she's a pretty awesome awesome woman, and she really took care of me um, on days that I needed to be sober and. When I didn't have any money, you know, she loved me for who I was, and I loved her for who she was too, you know. But I think that there's a point in, in a person's life where they can't really see eye to eye on some things, and it just doesn't make them happy. You know, it makes that other person happy, you know, and I think that for a while I didn't feel, um, I didn't feel like I was going to give enough for this person, you know, I, I feel really bad to tell you the truth about this decision, but I know that I'm not good enough for my wife, and that I I, I want to have I want to have her have somebody that's gonna give her what she wants because I certainly can't. So this is me going to uh, Massachusetts for a day, I'm taking the Greyhound back and forth. 
and I'm gonna be off and finding a place to live. And once I do, the vlogs will continue on. So it's gonna be a while for me to kind of get back on track with a lot of things, but I think I can. I think I can make it. And starting this new this new uh, part of my life is going to be one of the craziest things. So I'm actually at the bus terminal here in Boston and now I gotta go and find a, a train to uh, Lowell. So this is uh, actually a view here. And I gotta say that it is actually there was actually a, a blog that I did at the end of 2012. Um, and uh, it was actually uh, photographs of uh, me here at the bus terminal, so it was pretty interesting, to say the least. <laughs> uh, never forget it. Right now I'm at a uh, North Station. This is where the TD Garden is at. And I have an hour and a half wait until my next destination, which is, well, at least uh, maybe another two hours, I guess, um, until I arrive in Lowell. Um, kind of a, kind of a, exhausting, you know what I'm saying? but. I guess it's all good. So nervous about this whole thing. But what are you gonna do, right? So I ended up getting picked up by Donna's parents instead of just waiting at the train station for the train to Lowell to come through. And you know, it, it, was, it was a little awkward for me, to tell you the truth. I didn't really know what to expect. And I kind of knew that this was going to be one of the hardest things I could ever do and, and really say to a family that has essentially taken care of me over the last, I don't know, four or five years. But, you know... I had to break the news, had to man up, and let them know that this is what the situation was, and that I was making this decision primarily just because I, I felt like it really just couldn't be salvaged. And, and it was a really hard thing to do. All right, so. This is what it's going to look like for now. It's going to be a lot of lonely nights. What are you going to do? Figure it out, I guess. Hmm. Alright, so... This is sort of the status of how my uh, new room looks, and um, <clears throat> to be quite honest, it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of scary <laughs> in here to to tell you the truth. Um, I haven't really lived um, 
or slept alone like this in a, in a while. And um, it's kind of interesting, uh, just considering how, um, you know, just all the shit that I have been through. And now I'm kind of back to sort of phase one. I think this is going to be a good thing, and you know, it's tough, man. It really is tough. I, you know, I feel like crying. I feel like doing all this shit. But what are you gonna do? You know, you know just do your best. much this does it um, I actually had something pr uh, recorded uh, prior to this video but for some reason my GoPro isn't working properly and um, I think I need to buy a new one it, it's not doing so well for me and I think that I need to invest into something that's gonna allow me to take a uh, videos for a longer period of time and not glitch out during uh, the, the recordings but um, yeah as as what you've seen it so far um, I mean I'm at the point where um, I'm kind of settled uh, temporarily and where I'm living at and um, I am gonna try to make my move to uh, to California, uh, back to the Bay Area, and just start uh, a new life there. And just because the fact that I, you know, I don't really have a future here in Connecticut, and I just need to find sort of a, a place that um, I am very much familiar with and very much more comfortable with um, to hopefully uh, find a, a new future and as of late I, I've been doing my best to like write music um, take as many pictures as I can um, record footage and also go to the gym uh, which has been a, a pretty big thing for me over the last uh, few months and being able to kind of go to the gym and exercising has been uh, very therapeutic and I think that it's gonna allow me to kind of um, make I guess uh, I guess I, I make healthier decisions you know when I have a, a clear mind after a workout and that's essentially what's what's happening is uh, you know I'm trying to be a little bit more positive on on the situation and, and try to just go forward so yeah, I mean, you know, I may sound cold right now. I may sound like, yeah, you know, the whole like marriage thing didn't really happen. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm basically just saying that uh, in the light of what I've dealt with, um, I know that I can move forward and I know that my ex-wife is going to move forward and she's going to do great. So big ups to her and hopefully things uh, do do work out and, and I'm sure they will um, but as for me uh, I'm making my plans to go back to uh, to the land <laughs> to back to back to Cali so and I'm also making plans to actually start editing footage again so <sighs> man it's been a while since I've done this if you like this video <laughs> uh, hit the like button and if you want videos every Monday uh, hit the subscribe button now I know that I've been absent for quite a bit and it may take a little bit of time to kind of get things moving but I assure you that I will be making more content uh, to anybody that still continues to watch this video so 
Um, yeah, um, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Uh, if you want videos every Monday, hit that subscribe button. And as always, um, thank you for, for watching the Widow Power Vlog.